Hi, we are Timber's Playboy. This is my room, finally, because she's been at her house and now we're at my house and I have a webcam because I'm a fabulous Jordan. So, yeah, you see my little friendship thing there? Trying to attach it. Okay, wow, well, I lost that. We have our shirt, our Super Mega Poppy Awesome Hot shirt from Baby Cam. And I'm Lazy and she is. Hermione. <laughs> Hermione. <laughs> wow, never mind. Okay. Um, okay. We have made lists. Isn't that fantastic? Three lists. Actually, we made more, but we have to put back. Three lists. Guatemala gang symbol. Symbol three. <laughs> um, our first one is movies. Dun dun dun. <laughs> My top five favorite movies, which is so fascinating to everybody out there, is Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter, because I had to put a Harry Potter movie out there, and so far it's the best one. Seventh one, or the eighth one, will be better, but it hasn't come out yet. And then, Ten Things I Hate About You, Heath Ledger. <sighs> if you haven't seen it, just watch it. She's the man, it's just hilarious, and no, no one could go away. And then Hercules, because it's just ugh, it's one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. It's, it's great. And then Fruits to Terabithia. If you can watch that movie without crying, you then... Have to really, yeah, just a soulless, heartless jerk face. Out there. Okay, so the top five movies, they aren't in any order, really. But Koi Zora, oh my gosh, saddest movie ever. It's Japanese. There's also a drama. A novel, it's also a novel, don't ask. Um, a manga, and that's it. And they're all Japanese. <laughs> and it's so sad. Tear Jerker, I love crying. I just love crying. Tear Jerker. <laughs> <It's for Dodd. laughs> and um, it's true, it's like the story of her life, and it's really tragic, actually. It's really, really sad. And then I also like House on the Fish, which is also. I think it's Dutch. I saw it at a film festival when I was like in fourth grade and I was terrified of it. And then I wanted to watch it again for some reason. I, like I had a dream and it reminded me of it because of the fish. And then <laughs> oh, well, <I'll> fish. <laughs> and then I watched it on YouTube and it was fantastic. So yeah. We almost watched my Deborah the Cross one. It's pretty cool. And then I also like the Swan Princess trilogy. My favorite one is the first one. <laughs> and it's just it's the cutest story ever. It's so cute, it's so sweet. I love the whole Thumbelina, that's a movie I can watch like a billion times and never get bored of it. It's so cute. Oh my god. And then Pokemon, the first movie. Not Pokemon 2000, like she thought. Shut Pokemon, up. the first movie. Oh my gosh, it made me cry when I was little. I have a friend. I think I'm pretty sure I can watch Pokemon. One of my friends. guy friends. She has a friend. Oh my god. She has a friend. No, one of my guy friends <laughs> It says it's the only movie that he cries at. It's like, yeah. So, little... Fun fact. Fun fact about my friend. Mm -hmm. like six, so. so, favorite books is, again, Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. But this is Order of the Phoenix because, I don't know, that's, it's just, there's, I love Dolores Umbridge as a character. <sighs> She's just epic. And then it's the end of the Cho Chang love, so <laughs> that's always good. Although, I try to be Domo. Um, Truth About Forever is for Sarah Dessen. It's just, it's classic Sarah Dustin, if you've ever read any of her books. Um, the Odyssey. Enough said. I'm a wow. jerk. <laughs> You're a jerk? <laughs> I'm a dork. Wow. I'm a jerk too, but mainly a dork. Uh, Maximum Ride, Angel Experiment, James. If I haven't read that book or any part of that series or mm -hmm. any book from James Patterson, you need to fix that because mm -hmm. I love him. And then there's Sweetheart, <laughs> which is just a tragic story. It's just it's actually it's really well written, and it's just reflecting back on it. It's just it's great. It's good. I probably just thought of it, but it would take too long to tell you, so we won't. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Anywho. My turn. Okay. My books that I really like. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So there's this one book that I have called Angry Little Girls, which is a series, and my favorite one is called The Book on Love. So cute. I remember last year when I got it, I gave it to, like, all of my friends to read, except for Kelly. 
Really? No. <laughs> okay, I gave it. No, I gave it to like we passed it around. I gave it to all their unimportant friends. Okay, no, we passed it around in seventh period. So, yeah, you weren't there. F you. Sorry. Anyway, F so it's so cute. It tells like a story and it has like all these little lessons and it's so cute. It's by Lily Lee in case you care. I have their wallet. So it's so amazing. And then I also like zombie versus unicorns. Oh my gosh. Basically, team unicorn. yeah, thank you. There's only one person I know who said Team Zombie. He's Asian. Um, oh. Basically, it's stories about zombies, stories about unicorns, and they're all mixed together in one book. And then Called there's... Called Anthology. Whatever. And then there's other places you'll go, oh my gosh, no <laughs> That's adorable. Cute book, okay. <sighs> then there's Smile for the Camera, which is really sad. Which is on my list. Cool. And it's by Kelly James. Wow. <laughs> oh, the anyway. irony. <laughs> um, it's really ironic. No, not really. It's really <laughs> sad. about this girl. She, yeah, has a sad life. And she tries to make it better. And it's just survival survivor, like, living on a deserted island survivor. Like, survivor at in the real world. Out, play, out, wait, or oh, something, something like, like that. that. I think that was there. Anyway. And then another one is just such a pretty girl. And it's really sad. But it's really good. And she was really Bittersweet. Bittersweet. Uh, okay, and then finally, favorite TV shows. Mom, my, one of mine, it's NCIS Mickey with, oh my goodness, McGee is my favorite, <laughs> as you will see from her, like, mouse pad. I am a McGee freak. Just, that's all I am. McGee freak, that's me. Hmm. I'm a Denosa diva. Which is, and an Abby addict. Someone's at my door. Yeah. 
Anyway, it made me really happy when they <laughs> oh, had a... Oh, did you want to high five? No, not anymore. Not from you. Anyway, they had a site, or in fact, they had a reference for Phineas and Ferb, and it made my life. It really did. Anyway. She won't shut up about it. And we're almost out of time. Okay, I'm going to be really sad if this, like, ends abruptly. Did you know that was, like... Kim Possible. Oh, my gosh. I love Kim Possible. I was so sad when it ended, but it was a good ending. Okay. And then Conan Kid Next Door. Oh, yeah. Number three. Quotation of the week. Okay, I have. And we don't have a quotation of the week. I have one. Just win. Saved my life. Anyway, it's by Thomas Edison, and it made me happy. You might have heard it, but but oh, it's cute. It's I, I have not failed. I have found ten thousand ways that won't work. Oh, I know that quote. Yeah, a lot That's of people know that quote. Not it's a exciting. Great one. Whatever. It's better than nothing. Anyways, and it relates because we talk about Thomas Edison in history. We have no task for you guys unless you want to write down your five favorite lists, or whatever. But five no, something. And then, <laughs> if you are actually participated in the last task, unless you were guessing what that cookie was, I will tell you what that cookie was. Apparently, it was supposed to be a, a dinosaur, dinosaur fall print. print. But we should get credit because we guessed Blue's Clues fall print. Yeah, I guessed Blue's Clues fall print. Anyway, bye. We'll see you next week, maybe. Hopefully, most not. likely, if we're in the mood <laughs> and in good health. <laughs> and I will decapitate an elephant while it goes bye bye. Ready, two, three, four.